Hi guys, Pops is Assorted here and today I'm gonna show you how to install mods in Marvel's Spider-Man using the Spider-Man PC modding tool by JetJosh920. So shout out to you my good sir. This is a little advanced way on installing mods in this game so I will be needing you to watch the video from start to finish. So if you want this to succeed, don't skip. Now, before using this tool or installing it, let me remind you that this will make the size of your game doubled which means you will be needing a lot of HDD or SDD space. And it will take you 15 to an hour depending on your PC. But that is only one time when you first install or use the tool. After that, you don't need to repeat the whole process again. You've been warned. So if we're good with that, let's go to our tutorial. Go to the first link on the description below and register an account. You need to do this in order to download files on this site. Go to the second link on the description below and download the Spider-Man PC modding tool. After you've downloaded the file, you will get a zip file. Now, go to your desktop and make a folder. Name it on whatever you want. Mine, I will name it Spider-Man modding tool for obvious reasons. Now put the zip file that you have downloaded from Nexus Mods which is the Spider-Man PC tool. Extract it inside the folder that you've just made. From here, you can now delete the zip file for you will not be needing it anymore. Or you can choose not to, it's up to you. So after extracting it, you will have 4 files. Open up the smpctool.exe by double clicking on it. We will now install the tool so that we can use it to install mods on your Spider-Man game. Go to File. Then select Assets Archives folder. From here, you will be needing to go to your game directory or the location where you installed your game. Find the folder called Asset Archives. Open it up, then press Save. You will now have a message saying Asset Archives successfully set. And because this will be the first time we are using the tool, a warning message will pop up. Don't worry, it's normal and this will only happen once. Close the message box by clicking OK. Go to Tools then choose the last option saying Convert Asset Archives. It will now start converting and just like what the pop-up warning message said earlier, this might take 15 to 20 minutes and that depends on your rig. I have a good setup so it took me 30 minutes to finish. And just like I said earlier, this tool will almost double your game size because of the converting assets. It's basically unpacking them and then putting them back on their original size. Now, if you're just like me who's patient enough to wait, you will have a message saying done converting asset archives for modding. Press OK and now we're good to go. This process is only a one-time thing, meaning after you have done this, you don't have to do it again. Now, let's go on how to use the tool to install the mods. Now, go to the third link on the description below. We will be using this mod for this tutorial's sake. We will change Spider-Man to Stand the Man Lee. Download the file. You will be getting a RAR file. Extract it in your PC. Put it somewhere you can find it easily. You can put it inside the folder that you made earlier for easy access. After extracting, you will have 4 files. The author includes some other options that we can use and a save file. Now let's install the save file first. This save file contains the base mod and this is important if you want your mods to work. The author included some other options that we can use and a save file. Now go to documents. Then find the Spider-Man remaster folder. Go to the folder with strings of numbers and open it. Here you will find your save files. If you have a save files here, make a backup of it and put it somewhere safe. You will lose your progress of the game for the save file that we will be using as the modded one. Now copy and save the file inside the string of numbers folder. You can close now the window and go back to our Spider-Man modding tool. Make sure you have watched the video from start and didn't skip because if you do, the mod will not work or even worse mess up your game and you will have to reinstall it again. You've been warned for the second time. Now in the modding tool, go to install mods and find the SMPC mod file that we want to install. Mine, I put it on my desktop inside the folder that we made earlier. For this tutorial's sake, I'll be using the Stanley funeral suit. There's going to be a window popping up with the title of the mod and its author. In this mod, there are no description and also thumbnail. Now click the option saying install mod and the tool will start to do its thing. 
Wait for it to install. Once it finished, a message will show up saying successfully installed Spider-Man mod. Press OK then start your game. Once you're in the main menu, there will be a save file having 100%. Choose that then continue. You will now see that Spider-Man is now Stan the Man Lee. So that's it guys. Hope the video helped you and if it does, please kindly subscribe and hit that notification bell for more contents like this. And please leave a kind comment on the comment section and like the video. I'm really trying to grow my channel and doing so will be really a great help. So that's it for now. I will see you on my next video. Maraming salamat po.